you'll be recording as well, right, brother? Yeah, already. Okay, excellent. Right, nice. Okay, let me share screen. Okay, welcome everyone to the final session of this, of this English study group. I hope you are well prepared. For those who, those who are taking the senior stage exam, uh, I, I will try to write some notes uh, for those answers tonight. I'll, I, I have been quite caught up with my work. Uh, I haven't got to answer them, but, but later on, if we do have time, we can discuss a little bit how to answer some of the questions. Uh, there are a few questions I, I, I myself am not too sure about, but there are a few questions I can give you some pointers you know, and some guidelines perhaps. So perhaps uh, we can talk about that later on Yeah, for the senior stage students. As far as I know, there are two students taking the senior stage paper. Okay, uh, I'm so sorry I haven't got to button to to write anything yet for that, but I'll but I'll I'll, I'll write something tonight hopefully. Okay, let's begin by paying homage to the Buddha. Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddhasa Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddhasa Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddhasa Homage to him, the blessed one, the worthy one, the supremely awakened one. Okay, nice. All right, so let's do a bit of promo. Uh, just before we start uh, to remind you, actually, let's do this later on. I will do the promo later on. Uh, these are just a few people I want to thank. Uh, all right, so just a reminder, later on, you can fill in the feedback form at the end of the session, yeah? In fact, now, uh, Brother Chihuahua, if you can, you can already send the link if needed. Uh, so, but you, you can fill in the feedback form at the end of the, of the session. Also, uh, we, will we will remind you once again at the end of the session on the feedback form. Also, if you have filled, uh, filled it in last week, uh, you can fill it in again uh, because I think there is one or two additional questions, okay? So you can fill in two times, no worries, okay? I've seen a, a, some of the feedback. Some of the feedback are quite valuable. For example, we want the marking scheme and so on. Those are, those are what we, can, uh, we couldn't get uh, this year. Perhaps we could try to request it this year and, and maybe next year, see what we can get uh, from the from the exam exam organizer you see because I, I personally I don't I don't know uh, uh, the, the exam organizers very well so we might need to talk to them a bit more so that might take a bit more time so that's a good feedback uh, maybe we need to start asking for this earlier lah, maybe a few months earlier yeah brother brother Chiwa so we, we have to talk to them okay so we'll do that so I saw some feedback about the marking scheme and, and all that yeah, I also apologize, uh, apologize for, my, for my own delay. I actually wanted to write a bit more notes for the senior stage paper, uh, but these past weeks have been uh, not, too, not too easy for me. So um, I will, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll start writing it earlier so that next year students, if you are taking the senior stage paper, you will definitely have more uh, notes for preparation. So this is what I'll, I'll do, okay? Uh, for next year lah. For this year, I'll do what I can tonight, um, but. Uh, I don't think I can write much, but th definitely what we can do tonight is for those who want to ask questions for senior stage paper, stage paper, I can give you a few guidelines, okay, for those questions. All right, examination day. Okay, now this is quite important. You need to know what you need to do for tomorrow. So tomorrow's exam is 2 p.m., right, Brother Jiwa? Okay, so tomorrow's exam is 2 p.m., so make sure you, you get an early lunch uh, or an, an, a breakfast, right? Uh, and uh, yeah, make sure you, you have a good rest tonight. Okay, and make sure you get, get a good, good meal, all right, and prepare yourself for the examination. Now, uh, Brother Chiwa has already sent some instructions for the logging in, logging into this um, portal, right, to this um, uh, MBE uh, system, right, the Malaysian Buddhist Examination System. So I just need to ask, are there any questions about that? I myself haven't watched that video. So just, just to, if, if tomorrow there are any emergencies, uh, any last minute questions you can ask us in the group, we will try our best to, to, to help you, okay? But maybe let's, let's um, familiarize ourselves with the system right now first. Are there any questions uh, about the system now, right? Do you have any questions about that? Have you watched the video already? How to, how to log in and things like that? Yes, so Brother Chiwa has, has just sent the link to the to the 
uh, WhatsApp group. So could you guys check that and make sure you, make sure you, uh, make sure you know what you need to do tomorrow, or else you're not, you know, or else it's, it might not be very. Uh, yeah, it might not be very smooth tomorrow. We want to try to make sure things are things are going well. Okay. Uh, are there any questions? Uh, So far, so good. Okay, let me share my slides again. All right, so for the examination day, uh, this is the exam login link. Make sure you have this. So this is for you to log into the system, yeah, to take your exam, okay? And then, uh, if you, uh, please watch uh, the video on Facebook to uh, familiarize yourself how, how it works, with, with how, how it works, how the layout looks like, okay? So it, there are login instructions there. All right, so if an error page appears during the exam, no need to panic, just click refresh. If you have logged out from the exam page in the middle of the exam, you can still log back in and continue the examination. If you encounter any problems on the examination day, please contact the MBS secretariat at this number. Okay, is that good? All right, wait, let me check the chat for any questions. Okay, yeah, all good. All right, then there are no questions, then we can uh, carry on with what we need to do today. Okay. So let's try to cover a few things that we didn't get to cover earlier. And then, to be honest, we'll leave most of the time. We'll leave uh, most of the time for uh, perhaps, perhaps uh, Q and A. Okay, for those of you who need the need to ask some questions. All right. Okay. Contact them at this hotline if you need to need to have uh, need to ask any questions, emergency questions. Okay. Uh, if there is a if there is any uh, you know technical technical issues. All right, wait, 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 what's going on? Okay, this is nice. If I put no. Sorry, someone said, I can't log in the exam web. Brother Chiwa, what, what do you mean, yeah? Uh, brother or sister go you should continue next year. You can't log in the exam web, meaning can they log in now? I don't think so, right? They have to wait until tomorrow or they can log in, they can begin logging in now. Brother Chiwa, do you, can, do you know the you can still log in? You can still log in. Can still log in now, is it? Yeah, yeah you, you can log in now. My accepted. Yeah, you can still log in. Okay, go you said they say ID or password wrong. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, how do we solve this? But I checked a few times. Okay, how do we how do we solve this for them? Uh usually we if the ID of password wrong, you need to check back again. Uh where's the which Buddhist stage uh association you register from? So maybe sister call or brother call it to ask them. Uh. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, Go uh, can you check with your Buddhist association? All right, I thought ID is IC number and password is the last four digits. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I also, it's a day also has student got some problem with the four, four digit. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So, so need to call them, uh, need to call them to fix this. Uh. Okay. So, when do they call it now? It's quite late. Maybe tomorrow morning. I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Maybe first check with your Buddhist association. And then if, if it really can't be resolved, then tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, uh, call them. 
uh, or, or tonight if you if you're really if you if you think it's really necessary you could try calling them or else tomorrow morning i'm pretty sure the mba secretary will be ready right so tomorrow morning you can uh, yeah many people will be calling them tomorrow morning i i suppose so at least tomorrow morning you can call them cannot log in uh, yeah this is not the first um yeah this is not the first case there have been students facing this issue as well uh yeah so help to check uh, rather chi what we have to ask as well okay yeah we have to ask, uh, uh, guys, then um, tomorrow morning, we'll type in the WhatsApp chat uh, how we can solve it. Lah, yeah? Tomorrow morning, we, we answer in the chat. Okay? All right, good. So who else other than Go Yushen? Go Yushen is facing a problem. Okay. Any, any other people? Okay. If, if not, um, yeah. If not, we'll just ask about Go Yushen. Lah, yeah? right, Chiwa. We'll ask them about the, the issue. Okay, we have to ask also. By Go Yushen, you remember to call them also, yeah? All right, nice. Okay, so we've done all this already. Let's just uh, go straight to what we haven't done. Okay, so these are the 10 uh, wholesome deeds. Yeah. Dasa, Kusala, Kama. Uh, another name that you might see quite often is Dasa Punya Kiriya Vatu. All right, Punya is merit, Kiriya is action, and Vatu is like a basis. So the 10 bases of meritorious actions. Dasa Punya Kiriya Vatu. In fact, that's probably the more common name. Because the name uh, or the title, Dasa Kusala Kama, also has another list, you see. So it, there are like two lists that can be called Dasa Kusala Kama. So you have to remember very clearly which list we are referring to, okay? So Dasa Kusala Kama can refer to this list or it can, re or it can refer to another list as well. Uh, another name for this list is called Dasa Punya Kiriya Vatu, okay? Now we have covered this. Let's go to the 10 unwholesome deeds. Dasa Kusala Kama Pata. Dasa is 10. Akusala is unwholesome. Kusala is skillful, right? Akusala is unskillful, unrighteous, unvirtuous. Kama pata, all right? Actions, okay? Now, the 10, the 10 wholesome deeds, dasa kusala kama, can refer to dasa, dasa punya kiriya vatu, or it could refer to the opposite of this list. I repeat, uh, the 10 wholesome deeds, it could refer, there are two possible lists. One list is what we've learned earlier, the 10 bases of meritorious is this, is Dasa Kusala Kampata um, evil things to do? Yes, evil things. Yeah, Akusala, evil things. Correct. But the 10, uh, 10 wholesome actions can also refer to the opposite of this list. Okay? 10 unwholesome actions, 10 wholesome actions. There could be, they could be opposite, uh, op opposite lists. All right? Now, Let's go to the 10 unwholesome deeds. This one, uh, for junior level, you have to know. For junior level, you have to know. Um, wait, let's see. For preliminary level, do you need to know this for preliminary level? Oh, no, I don't know. Wait, let's see. Uh, let's check the syllabus. Preliminary level, yes. You need to know. You need to know. That's the question come out. Okay, so the 10 unwholesome deeds, you also need to know, yeah? All right, so this one, junior, preliminary, both need to know. So let me, uh, let me explain it now. Okay, so there are 10 uh, unwholesome deeds in this list and it is separated into three uh, possibility, uh, three categories, body, mind, and speech, all right? So there are three deeds by way of the body door. Let me type in the chat, yeah? Body door, body door. And then there's the speech door. speech door and there's the mind door all right so through the body door there are three actions through the speech door there are four actions and through the mind door there are three actions so i'm just going to go through it very quickly okay because our time is limited all right because the the body door there are three wholesome deeds sorry three unwholesome deeds healing taking what is not given and sexual misconduct all right, through the speech door, there are four unwholesome deeds. 
False speech, divisive speech, harsh speech, and frivolous speech. All right? And then uh, through the mind door, there are three, uh, three actions. Uh, number one, over here, it, it says avarice, but uh, another word, another word you might see is covetousness, all right? Covet. Covetousness means wanting something that, is, that does not belong to you or wanting something that belongs to someone else. So for example, I see someone else has a nice car. Someone else has a nice watch. Uh, someone else has a nice um, computer, whatever, a nice phone. I want to, I want it. That is covetousness. All right, and then there's ill will. Ill will is wishing harm upon another, wishing harm and suffering upon another. That's ill will. And then finally, there's wrong view. Okay, wrong view means not understanding the true nature of reality. All right, so there are these 10 unwholesome deeds. What about the dasa kusala kama, the 10 wholesome deeds? The 10 wholesome deeds would be the opposite of this list, understand? Which means not killing, not taking what is not given, okay? Uh, abstaining from sexual misconduct, refraining from false speech, refraining from divisive speech, refraining from harsh speech, refraining from frivolous speech. And then there is uh, metta, sorry, no, not metta, sorry. Uh, Non-covetousness. And then there is metta, which is opposite of ill will. And then there is right view. So those are the 10 wholesome deeds, which is, uh, that list is the opposite of this list. Okay, so far so good. Now, false speech means lying. You should know that already. Divisive speech means you try to divide people instead of trying to unite people. Harsh speech means you speak words that are not kind and not gentle. All right, frivolous speech means you speak words that are meaningless, that are pointless, that are not beneficial. All right, so that's what these four, uh, four ways by the speech, okay? Four unwholesome ways by way of speech, all right? What they mean. All right, at this point, uh, are there any questions? Are there any questions? No question. Okay, no question. Then uh, I'll move on. All right, this one, Jatagatias, we've touched on this already last week. Mangala Sutta, we touched on it already. Let me give you the link for the 10 unwholesome deeds. Okay, when someone kills the Buddha before and, and takes a night of it. Uh, Milok, say it again. Say it again. What happens if when... What happens if when uh, what happens if a bodhisattva while trying to gain a light and become and when he's about to become a samasam buddha, someone kills him? What will happen? Oh, oh, that's easy. Uh, I'll answer your question very soon. Hang on, huh? All right. So this one is a ten unwholesome things. You can check it out. The link I posted in the Zoom chat. Yeah. So if you guys need to, you can uh, go go for it. Now to answer Milok's question, okay. To, to answer Milok's question, what happens if before he becomes a Sama Samudha, uh, someone kills him? All right. The, uh, it depends on what you mean, Milok. If it's before that life, so before the Bodhisattva was reborn as Prince Siddhartha Gautama, the Bodhisattva was killed by people. Uh, not every life, of course, but in one or maybe more than one life, he was killed by people in the sense that in one story, uh, that was the testing of his patience. Same okay. life that he get in like sense. Okay, hang that, on, hang yeah, on. Yeah, like, like you get murdered in your final life. Okay, wait, I'll, I'll get there, I'll get there. So for example, a testing of his patience, uh, patience is kanti or endurance kanti. So there is this king who wanted to test his endurance. Can you really endure my torturing? my attacking, okay? And this king starts to torture him and attack him. And then in the end, he was killed, okay? Now, then he would be reborn again, all right? So that's the easy answer. Now, Milok asks a very good question. What happens in the last life if he gets killed before he attains Sama Sambuddha Put? To be honest, I don't really know the answer. I don't really know if it is even possible to end a Bodhisattva's life in his final life. I'm not sure if it's even possible. I, I don't know. Hmm. Is it possible to kill a bodhisattva in his final life? I'm not sure if it's possible. Uh, I, have a, I have a suspicion it might not be possible at all. Okay, Milok, but I don't know the answer, to be honest. So if someone knows the answer, you can share now, or else I will try to look into it. Hmm. Good question, good question. Okay, let me go on, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so sorry, Milok, I don't have the answer to your question. Unfortunately. All right. 
let's let's move on. Okay. All right, Jataka tales, Mangala Sutta. Now the chief disciples. All right, this one I can immediately answer the question. Just now Minlok asked, what is the difference between Sariputta, Mahamogalana, Kema, and Upalavana? The short answer is the gender, the gender, the sex of the persons. Sariputta and Mahamogalana are the chief. Sorry? How for Upalavana and Kema? Yeah, Kema and Upalavana are bhikkhunis. They are female chief disciples. Sariputta and Mahamogalana are bhikkhus. They the, are male chief disciples. Sariputta and Kema focus on different things, but actually they focus on different, on the same things. Yes, Sariputta is the uh, first or the foremost male chief disciple of the Buddha. He is foremost in wisdom. Kema is the same like Sariputta in the sense that she, uh, she is the foremost in wisdom among the female Who disciples. Who is better? Um, wisdom or supernatural power? Who is better? Who is better? Who is better depends on what you are aiming for. If you are aiming for more wisdom, then you would want to aspire to become like Sariputta. So if how to aiming... get supernatural power? Wait, wait, wait. Hang on, hang on. Let me finish my question first. Uh, and let me finish my answer first. If you're aiming for more wisdom, then you would want to aspire to become like Sariputta or Kema. Yeah? If you're aspiring, uh, if you are aiming for supernatural power, more supernatural power, uh, then you would aspire to become like Mahamogalana or Uttalavana. Wait, 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 wait. You will want to aspire to be become like Mahamogalana or Upalavana. Now, that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean that just because you are the foremost in supernatural power, it means you have no wisdom. That's not true, yeah? All Arahants have fulfilled the development and cultivation of wisdom, okay? All Arahants have fulfilled their perfection of Panya. Panya, which is wisdom. So yeah, yeah, Maha Mogalana yeah. also has wisdom. Sariputta also has wisdom. It's just that the level is different. Sariputta has the highest level of wisdom among the disciples, right? Except for the Buddha. The Buddha obviously has the highest level of wisdom among all human beings, okay? But Maha Mogalana doesn't have as high a level of wisdom compared to Venerable Sariputta, okay? But the opposite is also true. Venerable Sariputta does not have as high a level of supernatural power or psychic power compared to venerable maha mokalana what is okay, does that make sense natural power though yeah but what is basically supernatural power but what does supernatural power really do okay how so to get it okay how to get it and what are the superpowers all right so there are many there are many psychic powers yeah in pali it's called iddi iddi let me type it in the chat yeah it D. Okay. It D. It D is. It means power. All right. There are many different powers, so I won't be able to list them all. But for example, some of the powers are. Some of the powers are, the divine eye means you can see things that are far away, or the divine ear, which means you can hear things that are far away, or even in different realms. Okay. Or you can. Multiply your body. Right, that's also another example of a psychic power. Or you can read other people's minds. That's also an example of a psychic power. Okay, so there are multiple oh, examples. There was one time, oh, Mahamogalana was like that because he can hear her mother's voice even though she is in hell. Ah, yes. So you could, you are able to see or hear uh, the lives of others in different realms. Okay, so that's also an example of a divine Jeez. eye or divine ear. Yes. Now, when it comes to how to develop it, it's a long, long story. It's a long, long story. But the short answer is you have to cultivate your samadhi to a high level. Cultivating your samadhi through different methods and techniques, such as the mastery of the kasina bases, the kasina devices. When you master that, and then you develop the jhana levels, the first jhana, the second jhana, the third jhana, and the fourth jhana. And from the fourth jhana, you can direct your mind or you can incline your mind towards the development of supernatural powers. Okay, that's a short answer. If you want a longer answer, you can go to look for a master of Iddi. You can go to look for a master of Iddi. 
maybe it's a, a monastic, a monk or a nun who has mastered those powers, then uh, Minlok, you can go to them and you can study under them. You can take the precepts, take the training under them, and then step by step, they will teach you. It is possible, yeah? Uh, but before that, maybe you have to ask your parents' permission. <laughs> uh, depends on whether your parents uh, want to let you go. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, I know fully. Could you repeat your question, brother? Okay, never mind. All right, let's, uh, let's go on to, to, to other topics very quickly. Now, I want to move, actually, I want to move to the notes. So I have shared the notes in the group, in the WhatsApp group as well, also in this uh, Google Drive. I hope you guys have it. Uh, you can check it out if you, if you want to, uh, because I'll be sharing from there. Lah. All right. So let me show you how the notes look like. Uh, the notes are very simple. I didn't go and decorate it. No, I didn't beautify it. It's just black and white notes, but you can use it, okay? So these notes were not made by me. Yeah? I'm very, very grateful to Sister Wong Puyi. She's a Dharma School facilitator. Uh, she's, uh, she, she actually, initially, she didn't want to be named, la, but I said, no, I have to at least say your name, you know, uh, to express my appreciation and gratitude to her. So she compiled these notes. Now, of course, she's also going to take the exam, yeah? So she's also one of the, one of the people who are taking the exams. So this is how she studies for her exam. So look at her diligence. She actually makes the notes herself. So some of you who are taking the exam, uh, maybe next year you want to take the exam again or at a higher level, yeah? You can learn from her. Make the notes yourself. It helps you remember the, uh, the points uh, more easily and more, uh, what's the right word? Remember it more easily and remember it, um, retain it, okay? In a, in a stronger way. All right, so you can read the notes, okay? A lot of things we have covered already, but I want to go to, I want to go to, let's look at uh, the Buddha's life. All right, let's go to the Buddha's life. Okay, all can become Buddhas. There were many Buddhas in the past and there will be many Buddhas in the future. Meteya will be the name of the future Buddha. Meteya is the Pali oh, yes. word. Maitreya is the Sanskrit word. Okay. Hang on, yeah, hang on, yeah. Uh, Minlok, you can type your questions in the chat. Type your questions in the chat later. I'll come back. All right. Now, after the enlightenment, we have covered this already. Yeah, the seven weeks, yeah. Minlok, type your question in the chat, yeah. Don't worry, yeah. Later, I'll answer it, yeah. Okay. At first, uh, the five disciples addressed him as Avuso Gotama. Avuso means something like friend or reverend, okay? It's something like a uh, good friend, something like that, or, or a respected friend, okay, a, a reverend. And then after that, when the Buddha managed to convince them, they started to address him as Bhante. Bhante means something like venerable or lord or sir, you know, Bhante, okay? That means they have changed their attitude. At first, they were skeptical. They didn't believe him. But when they changed, when they saw that he came with courage, he came with boldness, and he came with authority, they believed him. They gave him that respect by addressing him as Bhante. Understand? All right. Okay. Then after that, he preached the Dhammachaka Papadana Sutta. Okay. There, are, there is the middle way. The middle way is called Majima Patipada. And it is called the middle way because it avoids the two extremes. I repeat, uh, the middle way is not in between the two extremes. That's not the middle way. The middle way is avoiding the two extremes not going to the two extremes. It is not half and half. You know, it's not like 50% this and 50% that. No, 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 that's not the middle way. The middle way is not going into the two extremes, avoiding the two extremes. That's called the middle way, all right? What are the two extremes? Number one is the enjoyment of sensual pleasures. Number two is the tormenting of the body, torturing of the body, self-mortification, all right? So those two are avoided. That's why it's called the middle way. All right, and then the, these are the these are the uh, eight, uh, eight factors of the Noble Eightfold Path, all right? Now, uh, how to remember this? Uh, how to remember this? I can share, okay? I can share with you guys. Let me type in the chat, yeah? Uh, so one way to remember is Salem Cut. Uh, this is an acronym. Salem Cut, but the U and the T, you bring it in front. So you and T, you bring it in front. So it's right understanding, right thought, and then right speech, right action, right livelihood, 
right effort, right mindfulness, right concentration. But right concentration, there, there are different, uh, there are different um, translations, yeah? So be very careful. So depending on your translator, I'll give you a few more translations. So I type in the chat, yeah? Uh, wait, let me see. Okay, so some other translations for samadhi is concentration, stillness, absorption, composure, right composure, right unification, right immersion. Mm -hmm. My favorite is in between composure and unification. I don't know which one is my favorite, uh, but I like unification a lot, but composure is also one of my favorites, uh, the translations. But these are all the different words that you might see. Okay, so, but usually in some, in many books, you see the word right concentration. So Salem cut is one way you can remember the eight noble factors, okay? But remember, uh, U and T, you must bring in front, yeah? U and T, you must bring in front. Now, there's another way that I actually prefer. It's, it's another way, yeah? Another way that I use. Uh, another acronym. It's called Visalem Sil. Okay, this one has a long name again. Uh, <laughs> okay. Now, uh, V is right view, and then I is right intention, mm -hmm. okay? And then Salem is the same, now, right speech, action, livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and then right composure or concentration, okay? C is right composure, yeah, or concentration, yeah? Uh, okay. Wait. All right, and then I and L, does anyone know what is I and L? Can anyone guess? If you can guess, you can type in the chat. Or you can unmute yourself and say, what are the last two? If you guys know. Right intention and right livelihood. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, that's a good guess. But intention is the second, second I. And right livelihood is the earlier one. The one, two, three, four, five, the fifth factor. Now, the last two is actually right insight and right liberation. Now, this is actually called the tenfold noble path. Uh, so there is an eightfold noble path. Okay, but there's also a tenfold noble path. This one you don't have to know. It's not in the exam. I'm just uh, sharing this extra information with you. I, I prefer the, mem uh, the acronym Visalem Sil. V Salem Sil, okay? View, intention, speech, action, livelihood, effort, mindfulness, and then right composure. And then I is right insight or right knowledge, okay? Samma Jnana. Jnana means uh, knowledge or insight, okay? Samma Jnana. And then L is liberation, or freedom or emancipation, sama vimuti, right liberation, sama vimuti. Okay, so this is actually the tenfold noble path. So it's up to you which one you want to remember. Okay, you can remember Salem cut, you can remember with Salem seal. This is for you to remember it easily. Okay, all right. But but the Pali you have to remember also lah. Huh? The Pali don't have don't have acronym for you to remember. This one you have to know yourself. Okay, right view or right understanding, diti sama diti, right thought or right intention. Uh, sometimes you hear the. Translations, right aspiration, okay? Or right attitude, okay? Or right resolve, right aim. Okay, these are different translations for sama sangkapa. All right, and then there's right speech, sama vacha, right action, sama kamanta, right livelihood, sama ajiva, right effort, sama vayama, right mindfulness, sama sati, right concentration, sama samadhi. All right, okay, remember this, huh? All right, that's the eight noble truths, eight noble, eightfold noble path, all right. And then Kondanya was the first one to attain the stream entry level, okay? Uh, Sotapanna, all right? After that, the other four monks became Sotapanas. Now, all five of them became Sotapanas. After that, the Buddha taught his second noble, uh, second sutta, which is called the Anatta Lakana Sutta. Anatta means non-self or without self. Anatta. Atta means self or soul. Anatta means non-self, all right? Lakana means the characteristic or the trait. Or, or the mark or the sign, the sign of non-self, the mark of non-self, the characteristic of non-self. When the four sorry, when the five disciples penetrated into this understanding of non-self, they attained the fourth and final stage of nibbana, which is the attainment of arahantship. They became arahants, fully awakened uh, beings. All right. Now, sadhu in the textbook means excellent. So if you see this question, just choose excellent. Although it also means good, uh, to be honest, it means good. Good, excellent, you know, it, it's a good thing. So, but if the question has good and excellent, I would say choose excellent 
because the textbook says excellent, but it's actually the same thing. So it's actually not a very fair question. But you know, if it if it if it's um if it's the question is set like that, then you choose excellent. Okay, in the textbook it says excellent, so choose excellent. All right. Okay, now Yasa, the son of a rich man, became the Buddha's sixth disciple, sixth monastic disciple. All right. Now, uh, Brother Minlock, just to clarify to you, yeah, his father and his mother and wife became lay disciples, Upasaka and Upasika. But uh, the ones who became Arahants were his friends, okay, his 54 noble friends, okay, uh, Brahmins. Noble friends means Brahmins, yeah, Brahmin friends. All his friends, they also became. Uh, the disciples, the monastic disciples, monks, okay? And then they all became Arahants. So now there were 60 Arahant disciples plus one uh, Buddha. So 61 Arahants in the world. So 61 Arahants in the world, the Buddha said to them, go forth for the benefit of many, for the well-being of many, for out of compassion for the world, okay? So to teach the Dharma, all right? The Buddha's ministry lasted for 45 years. He had many key supporters, yeah? So, some of the key supporters of the Buddha were kings, okay? For example, King, uh, king Bimbisara, King Pasanadi. Wait, King Kosala? Is there such a king? Sorry, I'm not sure. Wait, let me type it down. Huh? King Pasanadi, King Bimbisara. Uh, is there a king named King Kosala? Sorry, uh, is there such a king? Sorry, yeah. let me Google it right now, yeah. King Kosala. No, okay, so it's actually not King Kosala, it's King of Kosala. Sorry. Uh yeah. Let me edit the slides out. I think the slides now. All right. Now let me ask a question to everyone. King Bimbisara is the king of which kingdom? I repeat the question. Now, king Bimbisara is the king of which kingdom? Right in the chat, please. Now. Magada, very good. Magada, Magada, yeah. The spelling, I check the spelling, yeah. Magada, all right. So let me share the, let me share the slides now. Huh? let me go back to the slides. Where is the slides? Okay. All right, let me go back to the slides. All right, so King of Kosala is King Pasanadi. Okay, King of Magadha, King Timbisara. These two kings are some of his greatest supporters. All right, lay, 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 lay disciples. Anatta, Pindika, and Visaka, these are the chief male lay supporter and the chief female lay supporter. Why are they the chief supporter? The answer is quite simple because they were very rich. <laughs> they were very rich. Okay, they had a lot of money. So Anatta Pindika had a lot of money. Visaka also had a lot of money. So they used their money to buy, to donate a monastery. Okay, so they built a monastery in the park. Huh? You know, the, 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 the forest or the park. And they donated it to the Buddha's uh, Sangha. So wow. that the Sangha. So that the Sangha can use it. Uh, can use it uh, for their for their practice, all right? And also for their dwelling place, for their dwelling place. Because the park and the forest, these are all beautiful places and they are quiet and peaceful places, very conducive to meditation. That's why uh, they, they donate the monastery near these places, all right, near the park, okay? Now, Anatta Pinika was a merchant, like a trader, like a business businessman, you know? Uh, so he, he, he's very rich, all right? And Visaka was also very rich, okay? These are the male and female lay supporters. His chief opponent was Devadatta, all right? Devadatta tried to kill him. There was another person who, were, who was also influenced by Devadatta, okay? He was a king who killed his own father. Now, everyone type into the chat, what is the name of this king? Who was this king who killed his own father? Can you all, do you all know the answer? All right, very good. Ajatasatu, King Ajatasatu, all right. King Ajatasatu killed his own father. Who was his father? Who was his King father? Bimbi Sara. King Bimbisara, very good. King Bimbisara. Yes, so King Bimbisara is the answer, yeah? All right, now, 
King Ajata Satu wanted to become king. Sorry, at that time he was prince, okay? He was Prince Ajata Satu. He was the son of King Bimisara and he wanted to become king. Also, he had a bad friend. His bad friend was Devadatta. You see, this is, this is what happens when you meet bad friends. Bad friends will teach you to do bad things, correct or not? Sometimes your bad friends will teach you to lie, tell lies. Sometimes your bad friends will teach you to uh, steal things or break the school rules or disrespect your parents, huh? things like that. You know, these are what bad friends do to you. So be very careful what kind of friends you, uh, you associate with, okay? So Devadatta influenced Prince Ajatasattu to kill his own father. So that in the end, he became King Ajatasattu. However, however, King, thankfully, King Ajatasattu was uh, repentant. He repented. Repented means? Repented, huh? Repentance. Repentance means understanding that you have done something wrong and restraining yourself from doing, restraining yourself from doing, from repeating your evil deed. So this is repentance. So King Ajatasattu felt sorry for what he had done and he met the Buddha. He learned the Dhamma from the Buddha. Okay, so this is a good thing that happened. Uh, Devadatta, in the end, he was... Uh, he was he he died as a result of his bad karma, Devadatta. Okay. Now the Buddha had opposition from rival sects. What is rival sects? Rival sects means rival teachers and rival teachings, rival um, religions. Okay. Some of the key rival uh, teachers were Niganta Nataputta, very strong rival. Niganta Nataputta also had many many disciples. Even until today, the, the disciples are still there. This teaching is still alive in India. Yeah? Niganta Nataputta. The, the disciples of Niganta Nataputta are still there. And it, they are still a rival huh, to the Buddhist religion. Even until today. Even until today. Okay? So if you want to find out more about Niganta Nataputta, you can go to meet them. You can go to meet them. Okay? I once traveled myself. Huh? I once drove for two to three hours all the way to Ipoh. Uh, because there was a temple that, wait, is it Ipoh or Taiping? I think it was Ipoh. I think it was Ipoh. Yeah. So there was a temple there. So I met some of the, the followers of this religion. So I talked to them. I learned about, uh, learned about their religion. But uh, most of them spoke uh, Indian, la, some Indian language. I don't know what Indian language was that. Uh, there were, you know, I, I didn't understand the, 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 the religious festival. I didn't understand it. So thankfully, uh, you know, one of the one of so the, the main organizer, he had children, you know. So he asked his son, like, you know, you can go and talk to talk to this brother, you know. So his son, young man, uh, came to talk to me. Uh, he, he was able to speak English. Okay, so we spoke English. Uh, so that was that was my experience anyway, just to share my story. Uh, excuse so, me. Yes, yes. I know there's a temple cave in uh Ipo. Yeah, in Ipo. What is the name? Is it is that your question? The the name of the temple is a uh, Para uh, Cave Temple. Um, I forgot the name of the temple actually. Let me type it down. Uh, let me Google it. I can give you the name. Uh, this one. This is the name of the. This is the name of the temple. Uh, in uh, in Ipo Para. This is the name of the temple. Let me type in the chat now. Uh, Chinta Mani Parshvana. This was the temple I went. I drove all the way la, to Ipoh. Don't worry, you don't have to be like me. Ah. It's just I, I wanted to is learn it more. Is Indian temple? To... Sorry? Is it an Indian temple? Indian temple. Yeah, Indian temple. It's a Jain temple. Jain temple. Yeah. Jainism. This is the religion. The name of the religion is called Jainism. Yeah. They are the followers of Niganta Nataputta. Yeah. So in the suttas, in the suttas, you might actually, see, not you might, you would, you would read some of the debates. Debates, huh? the Buddha had with followers of Niganta Nataputta. So for example, uh, Niganta Nataputta would come to the Buddha and say, uh, your teaching is wrong. Your, your teaching of karma is wrong and wrong and wrong. So this is why it's wrong. And then the Buddha would also question the follower. You know, he would say, uh, okay, what do you believe? Uh, what, is your, what is your teaching and so on? And then they would debate. And then, uh, well, in the suttas, every time the Buddha wins, uh, okay, but you know, maybe you go to you go to their suttas, you know, you go to 
there are scriptures, maybe the story is a bit different. Who knows? I don't know. Anyway, so just to, just to give that background information, okay? But anyway, this one you don't have to know uh, for the exam. Lah, I mean, now that is one example. Can you all name me another example of a rival sect? Can you all name me? This one is a bit extra. But you Christian? Oh, no, no. Christian, not Christian. At the time of the Buddha in India, Christianity didn't exist yet. Magandiya. Is, is that the answer? I'm not sure, actually. Oh, yes, correct, correct. Magandiya is one example. You are right, you are right. Brother Lim Yugan, you are correct. You are correct. Magandiya. Yes, that's correct. Uh... Okay, any, any more? Any more answer? I'm Googling it actually. Let me Google, let me Google it. Yes. All right. Okay, uh, now let me share this screen uh, then you will know the answer. Uh. All right. So this is on uh, Wiki, Wiki, Wikipedia. Okay. Now these are the uh, 10, um, as these are the six major rival sects. Major rival religions. So this one, uh, Niganta, Nataputa, just now I said that, right? Now, another major one is Makali Gosala. His religion is called Ajivika. Okay? So if you guys remember, yeah, if you guys remember, before the Buddha went to Isipatana Deer Park, on the way, he met someone, remember? And then he said, I am without a teacher. I am without a rival. You know, I, I have no teacher. I alone am the awakened one in the world. And then the the his uh, the person his name is upaka yes upaka he said well you know so be it right may it be so you know and then he walked away so that student his name was a uh, he that student was a student of ajivika okay he was an ajivika disciple he was a disciple of makali gosala okay makali gosala so makali gosala was one of the strongest rival teachers of the buddha in the buddha's time and the buddha would criticize his view very strongly so he would say, uh, the views taught by Makali Gosala are very, very wrong views. They could lead you to rebirth in, in the lower realms, in the animal realm, in hell, and so on. That, that is how serious the wrong view is. Very, very serious. So do you want to know what is that wrong view? I think uh, this one you go and read yourself. Go and read yourself. Okay? Uh, it's very serious wrong view. Very serious wrong view, I repeat. Uh. So if you fall into this wrong view, it is very difficult to get out of it. So be very careful. All right, so Makari Gosala, Niganta Nataputa, and then there are other teachers, yeah? Purana Kasapa, Ajita Kesa Kambali, Pakuda Kachayana, Kachayana, Sanjaya Belati Buddha. All right, so these are some of the teachers uh, in the time of the Buddha. All right, good. All right, let's go back to the slides, yeah? Can you please teach me like, like the one who lived happily about that? Uh, hang on, yeah, hang on, yeah. Uh, later, later we get that. All right, so he had different, um, different uh, rival teachers, but he faced them with courage. Even though they came to challenge him and debate him, he was calm and he was courageous. He didn't fight and argue. He debated and argued calmly. He didn't argue in a very harsh way. You know, sometimes people say, oh, you know, your Buddhism is wrong, your Buddha is wrong, and then we get very angry. We get very upset. How can you say this? How can you say this? You are the wrong one. And then we get very upset. No need to be upset. Uh, no need to be upset. Be calm. Be calm. We, we can tell them, uh, what do you teach? So you can ask them, what teaching do you follow? And then you can ask them back, what do you understand about the Buddha's teaching? Okay, let's clarify. And then you can explain to them, this is why I think your teachings are wrong. And this is why I think the Buddha's teachings are right. You can very calmly explain with them, very calmly debate with them, very calmly argue with them. But don't become argumentative. You understand or not? You can argue calmly, but don't become argumentative. Okay? This is not befitting of a disciple of the Buddha. The Buddha, although he rejected their views, although he criticized their views, although he refuted their views, the Buddha didn't become upset. The Buddha didn't become angry. The Buddha didn't harbor hatred. You know, all these people, all these teachers, they say bad things about my disciples. I must, I must take revenge. No, no, no. The Buddha didn't have these thoughts. So we must become take like the Buddha. Back. Okay? We must become like the Buddha. Yes, brother? 
Okay. Now, the Buddha visited the kingdom of King Bimbisara, which is Magadha. Yeah? Magadha is the kingdom. All right. And he taught uh, Maha Narada Kasapa Jataka. The king attained Sotapanna and he offered the bamboo grove, Veluvana Rama, okay, to the Buddha and the Sangha. This is the monastery. Lah. Okay, he offered it. All right, so for many years, the Buddha and the Sangha would actually dwell there for their Vasa season, all right, for the rains retreat. Okay, they would actually be there. All right, good. So, King Bimisara, you know how rich he is. Uh, he has a kingdom, you know, so he donates this place, uh, this uh, bamboo grove to the Buddha. All right. The first two disciples, Sariputta or Upatisa, the son of Sari, Mogalana or Kolita was the son of Mogali. All right. Now, at first, they were disciples of Sanjaya. At first, they were disciples of Sanjaya, but they did not uh, realize uh, that this teaching would lead them to the end of suffering. So Sariputta met Asaji. Remember that story? And then within two lines of the stanza, Sariputta became a Sotapanna. And then Sariputta recited the verses to Maha Mogalana. And Venom Mogalana also became a Sotapanna. These two uh, disciples, they went back to Sanjaya. Sanjaya was their previous teacher. So they said they wanted to be grateful to him. Okay, So they went back to him and invited him to also become a disciple of the Buddha. But they said, no, 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 I don't want to. Uh, Sanjaya said, no, no, I have my own disciples. You can be disciples... Uh, but I have my own disciples. You know, I don't want to be disciples of the Buddha. You know, so he didn't accept it, lah. All right. So sometimes our, sometimes our ego and our sense of self, our attachment to self, our attachment to popularity can prevent us from accepting the truth. You see, you see what I mean, brothers and sisters. Okay. So now let's move on. All right. Then the Buddha visits his birthplace, yeah, Kapilavatu. He grew up in Kapi Kapilavatu. All right, okay, and then this one you have to read yourself, yeah? Uh, you have to read yourself, okay. And then uh, the Buddha also brought his wife, his well, his former wife, Princess Yasodhara, into the order. He also brought his son, Prince Rahula, also into the monastic order, and also his cousin, uh, no, not his cousin, sorry, his stepbrother. His stepbrother, Nanda, also brought him into the monastic order. So all of these became monastics. Yasodhara, Nanda, Rahula became monastics. Okay. Now, Ananda, the cousin of the Buddha, also became a monastic. And later on, he would, became, he would become the personal attendant of the Buddha. All right. He becomes known as the treasurer of the Dhamma. Means, you know the treasurer? Treasurer, treasurer is like the... In modern terms, uh, in the political terms today, uh, it would be called the Menteri Kewangan, uh, the Minister of Finance. All right. So treasurer of the Dharma, the treasurer of the king would be someone who guards after the money, guards after the wealth of the kingdom. Correct or not? So the Dharma of the Buddha is like treasure. It is like wealth. So the Ananda, the personal attendant of the Buddha, Venerable Ananda would guard the wealth of the Buddha, guard the words of the Buddha. That's why he is called the treasurer of the Dharma. Sariputta, Sariputta is called the General of the Dhamma or the Marshal of the Dhamma. I type in the chat, yeah? General or Marshal of the Dhamma. Okay, what does, what does this mean? General or Marshal is in the context of war, correct or not? Military, military strategy. Of course, the Buddha didn't go to war, but the Dhamma is like fighting a war against, against what? Against our own defilements, okay? Against greed, against hatred, against delusion. And so the general, the chief general of the Buddha's uh, soldier, you know, the Buddha's army, so to speak, is Sariputta. He is like the general of the Dharma, okay? All right, let's move on. Huh? You can read, read this on your own, okay? So Maha Pajapati Gotami was the Buddha's uh, stepmother or foster mother. She was the first bhikkhuni. She was the first nun. Kema and Upalavana were the two chief female disciples, all right? Okay. All right. Anatta Pinika offered Jeta Vana Rama. Anatta Pinika offered Jeta Vana Rama. Visaka offered Pukba Rama. Okay. Pukba Rama. Must remember, yeah. So these two places are in Savati. Savati is a big city. Big city. Many people are there. You know, they have, you know, it's a it's a big city. So uh Jeta Vana Rama and Pukba Rama are in Savati. So when the Buddha went to Savati, he would very often stay in these two places, okay? 
Ketavana Rama and Bubba Rama. Understand? This one you must know. Uh. You must remember the name. Uh. Okay? Good. This one is not King Kosala. Sorry. The King of Kosala. I need to, I need to edit that slide. Uh, King of Kosala. King of Kosala is King Pasana. Okay? All right. Let me, let me go on. All right. Minlok says, Venerable Ananda did not become Arahan in the Buddha's lifetime. That's correct. He was only a Sotapanna. It was only after the Buddha's passing away that the Venerable Ananda became an Arahan. That's correct. Thank you, Minlok. Okay. Very good. Now, the Buddha's Pari Nibbana. The Buddha's Pari Nibbana, the Buddha's last advice, okay? Strive with diligence. Appa Madena Sampa Deta. All right. The Buddha's last words are Appa Madena Sampa Deta. All right. Strive with diligence. Strive with heedfulness. Okay. All right. He who sees the Gautami outlived the Buddha. Mahapajapati Gotami did not outlive the Buddha. Mahapajapati Gotami passed away before the Buddha. All right. His mother passed away first before him. Okay. Now, uh, the Buddha says, He who sees the Dhamma sees me. Before he passed away, Venro Ananda asked the Buddha, O oh Lord, O oh teacher, O oh master, you are going to attain Parinibbana soon. Who will be your teacher? After, who will be our teacher after this? The Buddha says, Let my Dhamma Vinaya be your teacher. Let my Dhamma Vinaya be your teacher. Dhamma means the teaching or the doctrine. Vinaya means the discipline or the education. The doctrine and the discipline, the Dhamma and the Vinaya. Let this Dhamma Vinaya be your teacher. After the passing away of the Buddha, in the month of Savana, the first council was held to remember and preserve the teachings of the Buddha. This first council was pre presided over by Venerable Mahakasapa and also led by Ara Venerable Upali and Venerable Ananda. They recited the Vinaya and they recited the Dhamma. Okay? Venerable Ooh, Upali Venerable recited Ananda the Dhamma and Venerable studying, Ananda recited the Dhamma. While studying, like, right. like he, he gained... He gained um he became an arahat at the night of of night at the night before the first Buddhist council. Correct, correct. So before the first Buddhist council, Venerable Ananda was concerned. He wanted to become an arahant because all the other 499 disciples were already arahants. So he was striving very hard throughout the night. You know, the whole night he was meditating and meditating but he still couldn't attain arahanship yet, okay? So he decided to let go and decided to go to sleep. But he continued to maintain his mindfulness. So when he was about to go to bed, he, before his head hit the pillow and after he's lifted his legs above the ground, he attained arahanship. So he attained arahanship in a very unique posture, neither sitting nor lying, nor standing, nor walking. You see what I mean? So this was his arahanship, his attainment. So tonight, uh, tonight before you go to bed, uh, remember, uh, <laughs> maybe tonight will be your turn, brothers and sisters, all right? Before you go to bed, maintain mindfulness of the body. Maybe just before your head hit the pillow. Who knows? Who knows? Uh? All right, good. Now, this is about the Buddha. All right, now the Tipitaka is Vinaya Pitaka, Sutta Pitaka, Abhidhamma Pitaka, all right? The Tipitaka was first committed to writing about 80, 80 BC yeah? uh, in Ceylon. Uh, this is Ceylon. Ceylon is uh, Sri Lanka. All right, in Sri Lanka, yeah, Ceylon. Okay. Is this pronounced correctly? Is Ceylon the right pronunciation? I'm not sure. I hope it is. All right. Um, yeah, I hope it is. Uh. Forgive me if there are any Sri Lankans in the, <laughs> in the, in the group. All right. Um, okay. Now, the Dhamma. We have learned all this. We've learned these, we've learned these. Okay, now this one, this one is in uh, Dhammapada, verse 183. Okay. Sabba Sachita Pariyo Dapanang Etang Buddhana Buddhana Sasana. This is the teaching of all Buddhas. Sasana, the teaching of all Buddhas. All right. Sabba means all. Papa, Papa means evil. All evil you don't do. Kusala means good, right? Wholesome or righteous or skillful. Do the good. Do good. Cultivate the good. Sachitta. Chitta means the mind. 
Sajita Pariyodapana, purify the mind. This is the teaching of all Buddhas, all right? The three roots of evil are loba, dosa, moha, greed, hatred, and delusion, all right? Okay, all this we have learned already. We have done, we have done, okay. Okay, uh, now let's see uh, Venerable Maha Kasapa. Venerable Kasapa's uh, name originally was Pipali Manava, okay? He was a very rich person. His parents were very rich. They owned a lot of land. Eventually, he married this uh, beautiful woman, also very rich, called Bada, all right? Now, after the, his parents passed away, the husband and wife, they both decided to renounce the world. They both decided to enter the monastic order. So they, they sold their land, huh? they sold their land, they, the, the money and their wealth, they donated it, they gave to their workers and employees and so on, their servants and so on. And then they both entered the monastic order. All right. Now, Venerable Maha Kasapa was foremost in the Dutanga, foremost in the ascetic practices. All right. So Venerable Maha Kasapa initiated and presided over the first council. And then they compiled and preserved the teachings of the Buddha. All right. Ananda, this one, uh, you read yourself. Venerable Rahula, uh, read yourself also. Disciple foremost in quietly doing good. Okay. Yeah. He was very eager to learn. In Pali, it's called Sika Kama. Sika means training. Kama means love or passion. Passionate for the discipline. Passionate for the training. Loves the training. Eager to be trained. Sika Kama. Okay, Sika Kama. Let me type in the chat. Now. Sika Kama. Sika means training or discipline. Kama means love. Okay, loving the training. Now, uh, quietly doing good here. So he's very eager to learn, eager to be trained, eager to be instructed, all right? So there's one saying by Venerable Rahula, today, his aspiration, uh, today may I receive as much instruction from my teacher as there are here grains of, sand, uh, grains of sand. All these grains of sand, so many grains of sand, may I receive all these instructions from my teacher. So he was so eager. He loves the training. Sika Kama, okay? Now, Venerable Angulimala, I'm sure you all know this story already. Venerable Angulimala, okay. He received a special ordination called Ehi Bhikkhu Pabbaja. Pabbaja means ordination. Ehi Bhikkhu means come, Bhikkhu, come. Ehi Bhikkhu means it's a special ordination where the Buddha can immediately ordain someone through this uh, utterance. He can just say Ehi Bhikkhu and immediately the, uh, the person, the disciple would be uh, ordained and initiated into the monastic order would immediately become a bhikkhu, immediately become a monk, okay? So Venerable Angulimala received this uh, ordination, all right? Okay, give me two minutes. I'm going to get some water to drink. Uh, but in these two minutes, you can ask questions. You can type in the chat, yeah? All right, I'm going to get some water to drink.
Okay, I'm back. I'm back, guys. All right. Now, Venerable, Venerable Angulimala, he, there is this story, a very important story. Yeah? He met a woman who was in labor pain. She was about to give birth. Uh, she was about to give birth and she was in pain. So Venerable Angulimala chanted this parita, Angulimala parita. Uh, in the chanta, it's, uh, since I was born in the noble birth, you know, since I was born in the noble birth, like, as a son of the Buddha, I had never intentionally taken life. I've never intentionally deprived a living being of life. By the power of this truth, may you be well, may you be safe. So as a result of this power of the truth, of the virtue of Venerable Angulimala, uh, the mother and the child were both safe. Okay? So even until today, even until today, for women who are giving birth, uh, some in traditional Buddhist countries, they still chant this Angulimala Parita. Okay? Good. Uh, because... In the Buddha's teaching, truth has power. I repeat, uh, truth has power. Truth can change things. It has the power to lead to well-being and joy. All right. So this is the power of truth. All right. Okay. Now, Veno Upali. Veno Upali was the barber of these Brahmins. Okay. In the Sakyan tribe. Remember, Sakyan tribe is the Buddha's tribe. Yeah. The Sakyan clan. Uh. So, Ananda, Anuruddha, Bhaddiya, Bhagu, Devadatta, Kimbara. These are all Sakyans. Sakyans means belonging to the Sakya clan or the Sakya tribe. Venerable Upali from, was their barber. Okay? Now, when, when six of these people went to ordain, uh, went to ordain, went to become disciples of the Buddha, Venerable Upali followed along. All right? So, he also joined them to become bhikkhus, to join them to become monks. All right? And Venerable Upali... Uh, became the foremost disciple of the Buddha in the Vinaya, in the precepts, the monastic rules and the monastic precepts. Okay. All right. That's the end of this one. Let's check. Let's check out another uh, notes. Let's check out another notes for the junior. Just just not that one is for the preliminary level, preliminary stage. This one is uh, for for the. Uh, junior stage, all right? Okay, you can check out uh, the, the family tree, all right, for the mother's side and the father's side. All right, this one, we, we're done. Okay. Now, Kama Sukali Kanu Yoga, Atta Kila Matu Yoga. So, Atta itself, Kila Matanu. Atta Kila Matanu Yoga, all right? Now, kama suka, kama means sensual, suka means pleasure. So, sensual pleasure, atta kila matanu, atta means self. So, self mortification. All right, these are the two extremes uh, that should be avoided. Okay. Now, uh, the four noble truths, okay, this one you all know already. Uh, if you all don't know, then uh, read it yourself. <laughs> okay. All right, this one, this one, we are done. All right, let's see. Most of these were done already. Let's see what we need to. Check. Okay, actually, most of these were done. Okay, now let's go into some other uh, disciples. Let's see how we are. Okay, the, uh, Queen Mahapajapati Gotame. This is the first bhikkhuni. Yeah, she was very determined. She led five hundred women, five hundred ladies. To Vesali, and they march on the on the on the march on the road. Do they have roads? No. no. They march. They march on the no streets. Who are these five hundred ladies? Her how servants. Old? I I I don't know how old they were. <laughs> yeah. So, there are five hundred ladies were her servants. Were her servants. Yeah, she let her loyal servants go together okay. with her. Right, right. Nice, nice. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, so, so uh, she led these 500 women to, to, to request the Buddha to ordain women, okay? And the Buddha, in the end, agreed. All right, so that's why we have bhikkhus and bhikkhunis, lah, okay? Okay, this is not golden completion. This is golden complexion. Let me edit that right away. Now, um, 
Now, uh, Venerable came out. We told this story before. Yeah, earlier I told this story. Yeah. She was beautiful. She was attached to her beauty. But the Buddha created this vision and taught her the truth of impermanence. All right. Then she became a disciple of the Buddha. And then she's the foremost in wisdom. This one, we talked about this story before already. Venerable Upalavana, Venerable Upalavana attained Arahanship through the fire casino. Fire casino. Okay, through the fire casino. Just now, Minlok asked how to develop superpowers, right? Ah, fire casino is one of the methods. All right, so if you want to learn to develop psychic powers, you can train your samadhi through the uh, method of fire casino. This is one of the methods. There are other methods, but this is one of the methods, fire casino. So, Venerable Upalavana became a foremost female disciple in psychic power, okay? Uh, she attained arahanship through the fire casino, concentrated on a flame. That means she sees the fire, and she concentrated on the fire. So she, uh, what's the right word? Uh, her mind became unified with this object, the, the flame, all right? And then uh, through that, she attained arahanship. She realized impermanence. She realized uh, dukkha, suffering, and she realized non-self, anatta. Okay, so this is Venerable Upalavana. All right, Anatta Pindika, his original name was Sudatta. Anatta Pindika means feeder of the poor or feeder of the helpless. That's what the word means. That wasn't his original name, but People call him that because he was very generous, okay? He likes to give money to the poor, gives money to people who need it, okay? Now, he was a millionaire. Well, uh, millionaire in the sense that he was very rich, okay? Very rich in Sabati, okay? He donated Jetavana to the Buddha. We talked about that already. Okay, now, when he was about to pass away, Venerable Sariputta went to meet him and gave him a teaching, okay? That was when he was about to pass away, all right? Venerable Sariputta gave Anatta Pindika a teaching. Or another one, very rich one, is uh, Visaka. Visaka is the female chief uh, supporter. Female chief supporter. Yeah, female chief lay supporter. At seven years old, she heard the Dhamma and she attained Sotapanna. Uh, uh, Minlok, Erlina, you guys are 10 years old. Huh? Uh, you, you are late by three years already. <laughs> so, yeah. So, strive, strive with diligence. Okay, strive on with diligence. All right. His, her husband is Pun, Punya Vadana, father-in-law Migara. So Migara was the father of her husband. All right, so Mi, ah, yes, this one. Migara was a follower of Niganta Nataputta at first. Ah, no. So at first, Migara didn't like the Buddhist monks. He's like, hey, all these Buddhist monks, I don't like. Because he was a follower of Niganta Nataputta, all right? But, uh, uh, but because... Um, because of Visaka, she was teaching them the Dharma, teaching the father-in-law, Migara, teaching him the Dharma. And in the end, he converted. He accepted the teaching of the Buddha. Understand? All right, he also attained Sotapada. But at first, he, he didn't like the Buddhist monks because at first, he was a follower of Niganta Nata Buddha. All right? But in the end, he became a follower of the Buddha. All right? Good. Now, so that's why Visaka was very good in teaching. She was very uh, steadfast in her faith, steadfast in her wisdom, and she was able to also teach the Dharma to other people. So she also uh, persuaded her family members to accept the teachings of the Buddha, all right? Chief female lay disciple who helped to settle disputes in the Bhikkhuni order, she offered Bhubbarama in the east side of Savati to the Buddha, all right? The Buddha stayed in Bhubbarama for six vasa uh, in a rain season, a rainy season, okay? Now, the greatness of the Buddha, he taught the Dharma to both the Sangha and the lay people, in, before, in, the, in the morning, he searched for people who need his advice. He would survey the world with his divine eye, with his great compassion. He would look for people who need his teaching. Okay? And then after his noon meal, he would instruct his ordained disciples, his monastic disciples. In the evening, he would teach the lay people. During the first watch at night, he would teach again to the ordained disciples. During the middle watch at night, he would receive the devas and teach uh, the dharma to the devas. So he didn't sleep a lot. <laughs> he didn't sleep a lot. Because even at night, he, was still, he would still continue to teach. So he taught for 45 years for the good and delight and joy and well-being of all, uh, who, all who came to learn his Dhamma. All right? Now, the Buddha protested against the caste system. So those days, in the time of the Buddha, those of a lower caste, they were not allowed to recite the Vedas. Do you guys know what's the Vedas? The Vedas are the scriptures of the Brahmins, the religious scriptures. So these Vedas are, the lower caste people cannot read it because they are too 
um, too impure already, too, lo too low, you know, too lowly. Also, women also cannot read the Vedas, all right? Women also cannot read the Vedas. Only Brahmin men can read the Vedas, all right? So the Buddha wasn't like that. Yeah. Since any one of you go to the temple and then ask, the, ask to read the sutta, and then they say to you, oh, no, 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 you are too young. Or, no, 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 you are too old. Or, no, 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 you are not, you are not Sakyan, you know? You do not belong to the Sakyan tribe. Or you do not belong to the Katiya caste. Anyone say that to you before? Or anyone say to you, oh, you are just a woman. You are just a little girl. No, 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 you cannot learn the Dharma. Did anyone say that to you before? No, it's not possible. If someone says that to you, they are not following the teaching of the Buddha. The Buddha allowed people of all castes to join his order. The Buddha allowed both men and women to learn his teachings. Upali, the barber, was from a lower caste. That's why he was a barber. That's why he was a barber, you see. He was from a lower caste. But he was the foremost disciple in Vinaya. And he was even elected or selected to recite the Vinaya in the first council. This was how the Sangha elevates the status of the people without reference to the caste system. You see how, you see how powerful this is? Okay, so this is the greatness of the Buddha. Also, the Buddha raised the status of the women. Women were not allowed to read the Vedas, to learn the Vedas, okay? But in the teaching of the Buddha, Men and women, boys and girls, are allowed and encouraged to read the suttas, to listen to the Dhamma, to listen to the teachings of the Buddha. Okay. Also, at that time, uh, animal sacrifice. Some Brahmins they would kill animals because they believed that killing animals, sacrificing animals, would take away their bad karma. I repeat, ah. Uh, Many Brahmins, they will teach that sacrificing animals will take away their bad karma. But the Buddha said, no, this is a useless way. It is useless to sacrifice animals to take away your bad karma. In fact, by sacrificing animals, you are creating more bad karma. Okay? So this was the Buddha's teaching. All right? Okay, at his 80th year, all right, his two chief disciples, Vermal Sariputta and Mahamogalana, had already predeceased him, which means they had already passed away before that. Even Venerable Rahula and Venerable Yasodhara also already passed away before that. Okay, now, so he, he passed away at his 80th year. Lah, okay, He passed away in Kusinara. Yeah? His last uh, convert or his last uh, disciple was Subhadda. Subhadda. Okay? All right, good. Now let's look at some of the Dhamma, uh, the, the teachings of the Buddha. Karma means actions. Yeah? The Buddha and the Arahans do not accumulate fresh karma. Because they have destroyed all the causes of karma. Okay. All right. These are the 10 Kusala Karma. We taught this before. We learned this before already. Apachayana is respect, reverence, Vaya Vacha service. Okay. And all this. Yeah. Uh, 10 Akusala Karma. We taught this before already. Just now we just learned it. Yeah. All right. So let's move on. Okay. Now there are these um, conditions for the Akusala Karma. This one you have to read yourself. Yeah. So there are, there are the five conditions to fulfill the act of killing. So there must be a, a life, there must be a being that is alive, there must be a perception that is a being, there must be the intention to kill, there must be the effort, and there must be the death. All right, so these five conditions to fulfill killing. And then there are five conditions to fulfill stealing and so on. There are all these different conditions, yeah? Four conditions of lying, four conditions of slandering, like, like divisive speech, okay? Four, three conditions of harsh speech, two condi conditions for frivolous talk, or meaningless speech, all right? And then two conditions for covetousness, two conditions for ill will, and two conditions for wrong view or false view. All right, this one you must know, for those who are taking junior stage, you must know the conditions, okay? To fulfill the wrong actions. All right, the Buddha says, karma is, uh, cheta is, chetana is karma. Chetana means the will or volition or intention. Intention is karma. Chetana is karma. So chetana is what creates karma. Understand? There is no self that creates the karma, but there is the chetana, the volition or the intention that creates the karma. All right? Okay, all this you can read yourself. Okay, then there are these uh, five cosmic order. Okay? Niyama, cosmic order or laws of the universe, laws of nature. Uttu niyama, the law of uh, the seasons, the law of the physical world. Bija niyama, bija means seeds, huh? seeds, huh? seeds that grow into a tree. Bija niyama means the law of the biological world. Kama niyama means the law of action and consequence. 
cause and effect. You do something, what is the consequence? That is the kayan, ka, sorry, kamma niyama, okay, the law of kamma. And then there is chitta niyama over here. Chitta niyama means the law of consciousness, the law of the mind. Okay, so how does consciousness happen? How does visual consciousness arise? How does auditory consciousness arise? That one is chitta niyama. And then finally, there's dhamma niyama, the law of nature or the law of uh, dhamma, the law of the universe. How natural phenomena happen, okay? Especially surrounding the awakening of the Buddha. All right. This one, Noble Info Path, we learned this already. Okay, uh, 10 precepts, we learned the eight precepts already. Uh. Uh, for 10 precepts, there are two more. Uh, it's, it's split into uh, singing, dancing, music, and garlands and perfumes. That one is split into two, all right? Split into two. Two precepts. And then finally, there is uh, abstaining uh, abstaining from gold and silver, handling money. That's the last precept. These are the 10 precepts. Lah, okay. All right. Now, let's talk about the five hindrances. Uh, this one, okay, no time. This one, you learn yourself. This one, you read yourself. The five nivarana, the five hindrances. All right. Can I please go? Okay. Now, there are the... Wait, uh, yeah. Now, the five nivarana, the five hindrances are the factors of the mind that obstruct our samadhi. They obstruct our meditation. They are obstacles or hindrances to our meditation. So first one is sensual desire, karma chanda. Second one is ill will, viyapada. Third one is sloth and torpor, uh, tina midha. It's like drowsiness and laziness. Drowsiness and laziness. And then fourth one is kukucha and udacha. Worry and restlessness, anxiety and restlessness. Okay. And then finally, it's doubt, vichikicha, vichikicha, doubt, indecision. Vichikicha means uh, you doubt until you cannot make a decision. You, you cannot steady your effort. This one is doubt. Okay. These five factors would present obstacles to the mind for meditation. Okay. All right. Now, the three counsels. The first counsel we learned already. Okay. And then. Okay, all this you can read yourself. We have learned it already. The second council, <clears throat> the, the second council was 100 years after the Parinibbana of the Buddha. It was a dispute about Vinaya. It was a dispute about Vinaya. There were 10 Vinaya points that were disputed. Okay, so Venerable Yasa and Venerable Revata uh, convened the second council. Now, the third council was during the time of King Ashoka or King Asoka. All right, Venerable Mogali Tisa was the presiding uh, elder, all right, presiding Terra. All right. <clears throat> okay, that's the end of the notes. That's the end of the notes. Okay. Uh, do we, actually, that's it. Uh, I have covered most of the material already. Do we have any questions, any thoughts, any sharing? Yeah. No. Yes, Brian. Uh, I think Jovi Chen uh, asked something in the group which says, how can killing shorten your life? Killing shorten your life, whether it is this life or whether it's the next life or whether it's future lives, killing shorten your lives because the act of killing is strong hatred. I repeat, uh, the act of killing is strong hatred, dosa. So that is bad karma. When there is bad karma, it will lead to bad consequences. So whether it's this life or next life and, or future lives, the, the bad karma will plant the seed. Okay, And when the conditions are right, the bad karma will, will uh, bear fruit. It will bear fruit as bad consequence. So it will shorten your life. Okay, that's the answer. All right, bear fruit. Huh? All right, any other questions? Thanks for that, Brian. Thanks for that, uh, in lock. If not, uh, we can, yeah, actually that's, we have, I've covered all the notes and the slides already. So, um, yeah, I, I'm wondering if the senior state students want to ask some questions. I can sort of help to touch upon some things. I'm not sure. 
Uh, any thoughts? Any other thoughts? I would like to have a copy of such a Okay, sure, sure. Uh, it's in the, it will, it will be in the Google Drive. Everything is in, a, uh, is in a, the, the Google Drive. Yeah. Okay, all right. I'll go check it there. All right, thanks, Brian. Okay, now let's, uh, let's check this out, yeah? These are the, this is the guidelines for the Malaysian Buddhist examination, yeah? So this is to log in, okay? Oh, these are all in Mandarin. So these are the slides uh, to teach you how to log in. Okay, you can check out the, the pictures that will teach you yeah, how to log in. Key in your IC number, uh, log in, key in your password, and so on. Okay, click log in. All right, then take your exam. Then there's a time limit. Lah. Depending on your stage, lah, uh, preliminary stage, junior stage, and all that, different time limit. Lah. You have to know your own stage. Lah. All right. A countdown timer will be shown. Okay. This is a Kao Ji Tzu. Kao Ji Tzu is, Kao Ji Tzu is what level? I'm not sure whether it's senior stage or higher stage, but anyway, it's one of the higher stage, lah. One of the higher stages. All right. Okay. Then you have to read the questions uh, carefully. All right. When the timer is up, the exam paper will load automatically. All right. Okay. You, if you, if there's any problem with the page, you can actually refresh the page. Okay. Refresh, refresh the web page. All right. So there's like section one, section two, objective, long question. Okay. This one is for the senior stage students, lah. You have the objective questions. There's also the long questions, all right? For those who are in junior or preliminary stage, you only have objective questions, correct or not? You only have A, B, C, D questions, okay? So click on your section and then answer the questions. All right. All right, click on the answer. Lah. This is how you select the answer. Select your answer, yeah? Okay, these are slides. These, these slides are shared in the chat already, yeah? Please go and uh, check it out, yeah? If you, don't, if you have any questions, please ask us also. We try to help you answer, okay? Okay, now, this one, this one. Red color indicates unanswered questions. I repeat, uh, red color indicates unanswered questions. Please click the question number to jump directly to that question, okay? So if you haven't answered any question, you can jump to that question. And then end the examination after you have answered all the questions, and then you are done, all right? If confirmed, the exam will end, all right? And then uh, all the best, yeah. All the best. Get ready for tomorrow's exam, yeah. Okay, all this is in Mandarin. I hope you can understand Mandarin. You can only do this exam for one time. Once you end the exam, you can, cannot change your answers anymore. So you can only do it for one time. All right? All right. Okay. Sister Angeline, go for it. I think you have a question. Sister Angeline, do you have a question? Oh, no, 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 the exam is in English for you all. Uh, there's a Mandarin exam also, but that's for another group of students. For you all is in English, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, yeah. You, have, you sign up for the English, English uh, exam. Uh, you can take the Mandarin exam also, you can also if you want to, yeah. Oh, but it's at the same time, right? So you can choose one or the other. So if those of you who score A in the English exam this year, maybe next year you can challenge the Mandarin exam. <laughs> yeah, it's up to you, okay. All right, Mandarin exam, uh, other teachers are teaching it, yeah. Uh, I'm, on, I'm, only, I'm only running the tutorial for the English, English uh, exam. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? If not, uh, if not, we, we are actually we are actually quite done, right? Okay. The notes are all there. Yeah. Uh, for the senior stage students, I will write some notes for you all to, to, tonight, lah. I hope tomorrow morning you all can flip through if you all really need that guidance. Uh, I'm really, really sorry for the delay. I, 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 was, I was quite caught up. Okay. So um, next year, those of you who want to take questions, uh, take the uh, exam for next year for senior stage, let's say, lah, example. If you want to take it, I would, I would try to write notes earlier. Lah, because this year, I, was only, I only started to prepare for this tutorial, this English study group, quite, um, quite, uh, quite late. Uh, only only a few weeks ago. So I, I didn't get to prepare too much, okay? 
Um, but next year, if you are doing it again next year, I will start to prepare earlier, lah, okay? Just let you know. And also in the past one week, it was a tough week for me. So I wasn't able to be in the right state of mind to actually prepare, prepare more material. Uh, but don't worry, next year, if you want to take it again next year, or if you want to take, take it for next year, uh, I, would, I would prepare, start preparing earlier. I didn't know about this one, actually, this, this, this exam, until Brother Jiwa called me. Oh, you know, do you know that this exam, do you know there's any tutorial groups or English uh, or study groups? So I said, okay, since there are no study groups available, I said, okay, let me help, help out, you know, let me, let me run a session, uh, run, a, run a tutorial and, and let me help them out. Okay, so don't worry, uh, I'll, I'll do my best for next year. Okay, I'll do it my best for tonight also. Uh, tonight I'll also write something, okay, for the, for the senior state students, if you need it, like, if you need it. Don't worry, because I'm sure you all also have prepared on your own, yeah, uh, re reading a textbook and so on. Okay, so let's jump into uh, closing. Yeah, uh, what's... Uh, okay, yes, feedback form. Brother Chiwa, can you please, can you please post the feedback form again? The link. Then uh, please fill in the feedback form for those of you. Uh, yeah, even if you have filled in the feedback form last week, Please fill it in again, okay? Uh, then, then we can get your feedback, okay? Whether it's, uh, whether it's uh, good feedback, okay? Or whether it's suggestions to improve, we are very happy to hear from you, okay? We will try to do better next year. So if you want to continue to join it next year, also can. Also, yes, this is important, this is important. For those of you who want to help prepare material and help to run tutorials and help to guide other students next year, feel free to let us know. I know some of you are Dharma school teachers. Some of you are very clever, okay? Some of you are very knowledgeable. So don't worry about it, okay? If you want to help out to be a leader or a facilitator, please let us know, okay? Because uh, this year I'm doing a lot of work, but if we have more people in the team, we can do more work together. So we don't have to, each, uh, each of us can do less work so we can all work together. So if you want to uh, sign up, uh, if you want to volunteer to be a facilitator or to help out in preparing material, you can also type in the. You can also put it in a feedback form. Let us know. Oh, I want to volunteer. Oh, to I don't want to. No thanks. La, la, la. Okay. Uh, okay. So, so um, so uh, wait, 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 So, uh, how do I say? Uh, so, to, this year's material is not so sufficient, not so complete. But next year, hopefully, if we have more people to help out, we can prepare better material. Okay, uh, Milok, Milok, what do you say? Milok, Milok, what do you say? I actually accidentally signed up, but actually, I didn't know that. You accidentally signed up to do what? Sorry? To be a teacher, but I'm sure you actually not. Can you please stop? Help me. Okay, okay. No worries, no worries. Uh, Sister Angeline, you, are you going to say something, Sister Angeline? No, it's okay. It's okay. I prepare. <laughs> oh, okay. That's okay. nice. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. No problem. No problem. Thank you so much to the senior state students uh, for, for, your, for your hard work and preparation. I understand you have been doing a lot because I know the senior stage paper is not so easy. So uh, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, re I'm re I regret uh, that I couldn't help as much. Uh, but next year, uh, for those of you who want to take senior state students, I will definitely help out more. Uh, Okay, this year really lack of time. Lah. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, appreciate your understanding and your uh, and your effort. Lah. Okay, all right. So for those feedback form, please fill in the feedback form. Yeah, please fill in the feedback form. Okay. Now, uh, examination day, remember to, uh, examination day, remember to look at the process, uh, how to log in. Uh, okay. Now, uh, just a few people to thank. Few people to thank. Number one, I want to thank Sister Wong Hui Yi. Uh, she's a Dharma school facilitator. She has helped to prepare the notes. So I have been running through the notes in the past four weeks, right? Running through the material and the content with you all, uh, explaining a, a lot of the key points, okay? So I hope that you appreciate our effort and uh, Sister Wong Pui, uh, the notes oh, have prepared for you not. also. So you can also read the, read the notes, okay? If you need to. And then, of course, uh, these two people, right? Uh, Brother Frankie Lo, okay? Uh, from YBM, KL, and Selangor State Liaison, Liaison Committee, and also Brother Wong Chiwa, uh, the, the man behind the man behind the scenes, right? He, he has been the technical guy, help, technical guy, you know, helping to help
helping to facilitate everything, the, the technical issues and, and the Zoom meeting and all that, and also the managing the WhatsApp group for us. So uh, uh, all of you, I'm sure, uh, would know him, right? He has been helping out a lot uh, in logistics, in the technical issues and all that. So Brother Wong Jiwa, Secretary of YBM, KL and Selangor State Liaison Committee. Okay, so he has been helping me out a lot. So uh, this event, uh, this study group is brought to you by MITA, the youth arm of TBCM, Theravada Buddhist Council of Malaysia, as well as Young Buddhist Association of Malaysia, KL and Selangor State Liaison Committee. All right, so this event is a collaboration between these two organizations, all right, these two youth groups. All right. Uh, so if you want to follow us for more programs and more opportunities and more Dhamma events, uh, please follow our Facebook page. Also, um, to introduce myself once again, I am playing a role in Mita, the youth arm of TBCM. I'm also playing a role in the Putra Heights Buddhist Society PHBS Youth Fellowship. All right. In this youth fellowship, we, we have a sutta study uh, dharma discussion every Sunday, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Every Sunday, we uh, gather on Zoom and we discuss the suttas. We read the teachings of the Buddha, we read the suttas, and we ask questions and we discuss the, those suttas. Okay. So this is what we do every Sunday. If you are uh, if you would like to join, whether you are young or old, doesn't matter, especially if you know youth members. So if you have children who are youths, or if you have friends who are youths, you want to invite them to join our Sutta study, please let me know also. We are very happy to uh, have you join our Sutta study sessions. Lah. Okay. Uh, whether you are young or old, doesn't matter. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah. Uh, young or old, we, we, are, we don't have age barrier. Don't worry. We, we welcome everyone. All right, so if you would like to follow our Facebook page, uh, also you can uh, follow our Facebook page. Uh, you, can, uh, you can click on the link. All right, so uh, this is my, my Buddhist organization, like Putra Heights Buddhist Society Youth Fellowship. All right, now let me post the links uh, for all of you, okay? Uh, so first, uh, yeah, let me post the link to all of you, yeah. Uh, Brother Chiwa, you can also post the Facebook page link for YBM. Uh, Okay, so if you guys see in the chat group, there are three Facebook pages, the links, you can click on it uh, if you need to. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, Brother Jiwa has also posted it. Okay, so that's TBCM, Theravada Buddhist uh, Council of Malaysia. And then there's PHBS, that's Putra Heights Buddhist Society. And that's YBM, Young Buddhist Association of Malaysia. All right, so feel free to follow our pages. There are many, many events, uh, especially YBM, they have a lot of events, a lot of opportunities, a lot of Dharma talks and so on. All right. Um, Theravada Buddhist Council of Malaysia also has many events. So if you want to follow more programs and opportunities, please uh, follow them. Lah. And if you have any questions about future opportunities, future Dharma uh, programs, you can also ask us. You can reach out to Brother Chiwa. You can text him. Okay, what's that mean? You can also text me. Uh, what's that mean? To, to ask for more uh, programs and opportunities. Don't worry about asking us. We are very, we are very happy to help out. Okay, Brother Chiwa, do you have any advertisements or marketing or promotion to do? If you have any slides to show, just asking. If you don't, it's okay. Uh, if you have, you can share the slides. Okay, no worries. All right, so don't worry. Yeah, we can we can share uh, we can share any news and programs with all of you. So you can ask us. Okay. All right. So far, so good. Any final questions? Any final questions? If not, let's go into closing. If not, let's go into sharing of merits. Huh? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So Brother Chiwa said we had a citizen heroes drawing contest. So this is also related to Hari Merdeka, I believe, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's go into closing, uh, closing sharing of merit, and then we'll end the session. Um, but for those of you who, uh, for those of you who want to ask questions later on, you can also stay back and ask questions. No pressure. Uh, I'm very happy to stay back to answer your questions. Lah. Okay. All right. Let's go into chanting, chanting now. Uh, let me share my slides. All right, closing puja. Okay, let's let's start here. Yes. Okay. 
sharing of marriage. Brothers and sisters, we've gone through four tutorial sessions together. I have I've been very grateful for all your uh, kind attention and kind thoughts. I know some of you have been wishing me well and wishing me meta. So I'm very, I'm very grateful yeah, for your kind thoughts, for your thoughts of meta. So thank you so much for, for your time and your attention throughout these four tutorial sessions. I wish you all the best. I, 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 I wish that uh, your hard work, your diligence and your preparation and effort would, um, would bear good fruit okay, in your uh, exam for tomorrow. So I hope you have uh, this courage and this confidence to face your examination tomorrow and always remember to be calm in the face of the exam okay so i wish you all the best for this exam and i also hope that our karmic connections that we have uh, the, the karmic seeds that we've planted throughout these four tutorial sessions will bear good fruit in the future i hope that uh, whatever shortcomings uh, whatever unwholesome unwholesome actions that i've committed in thought in word and in deed i ask for your forgiveness i hope that all of us would uh, continue to be guided and to be blessed by the Dhamma, all right? So with a heart of appreciation and gratitude, let's do our sharing of merit, yeah? Imang no punya bhagang samba satanang dema Imang no punya bhagang samba satanang dema Imang no punya bhagang Samba sata nang dema. We share this merit with all beings. May they rejoice in our merit and be well, happy, and peaceful. <laughs> Let my merits accrue to my departed relatives. May they be well and happy. Imina punya kamena mame bala samagamo satang samagamo hotu yava nibbana pantia. By the grace of these merits that I've acquired, may I never meet evil and wicked people. May I meet the wise and virtuous until I attain my final emancipation. Final aspiration. Idang ne punyang asavakaya vahang hotu. Idang ne punyang nimba nasa pachayo hotu. By the power of this merit, may it lead to the extinction of defilements. By the power of this merit, May I attain the final realization of Nibbana. Sambe Sata Sukhi Hontu. May all beings be well and happy. Yuan Yi Che Chung Sheng Li Ku De Le. Sadhu Sadhu Sadhu. Once again, for any shortcomings, for any unwholesome actions, for any shortcomings and mistakes that I've committed, I ask for your forgiveness. And by the power of this merit, by the power of your preparation and diligence, may it lead to an excellent, excellent examination and excellent results. All right. Thank you so much, brothers and sisters. Thank you so much for all your time and attention. May you be blessed and guided by the Dhamma. May you be well and happy. All right. Any questions, any comments, any suggestions, any sharing, any thoughts, feel free to, uh, feel free to share if you need to. For those of you who need to leave, uh, no problem. Yeah. Good night and uh, all the best for tomorrow. Yeah. For those of you who want to ask questions, feel free to uh, feel free to uh, unmute yourself and raise your questions. Brother Jiwa, if you want to say anything, I, I, <laughs> you can you can say thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Brother Jiwa really appreciates all your cooperation and all your hard work as well. Yeah. So thank you so much to everyone. Okay. Any thoughts? Any questions? If not, it's fine. Uh, we'll we'll end it here. Yeah. Good night and all the best for tomorrow, yeah?
Okay, Erlina, Inlock, are you guys feeling okay? Feeling excited for tomorrow's exam? <laughs> or are you a bit nervous or a bit a bit scared? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Erlina is nodding her head. She's feeling very nervous. Well, don't worry too much. Yeah, just do your best. Don't worry. If you don't do well this year, uh, this year, there's always next year. You can always do it again. There's always many opportunities. You can see some of the brothers and sisters here are already adults, you know, and yet they are still taking the exam. So this is lifelong learning. You know, every year you learn and you become better and better. Yeah. You can take this exam next year again if you need to. Yeah. In fact, you can go a higher stage, a higher level. Next year you can move to junior stage and then you can move to senior stage or higher stage. Okay. Yeah, you can challenge yourselves. Okay. Don't worry, take your time. Uh, don't, don't, don't be, don't be scared. All right. Be patient. Be patient. Okay. All right, no thoughts, no questions. Uh, Milok, do you have any questions? No questions? Okay, that's nice. All right. Okay. Okay, then. Let me scroll through the chat and see if there are any comments. Brother Jiwa said, essay part is hard. Yeah, essay part is hard, true. Uh, okay, Milok said, she died at the age of 120 years old. Yes, thank you. Were you referring to Maha Pajapati Gotami? Yes, right? You know, yeah, correct. Yes, thank you. Thank you for the comment. Correct. So, Venerable Maha Pajapati Gotami died at the age of 120 years old. That's correct. That's correct. Thank you, Milok, for sharing. I thought that means that he died before the Buddha. She died before the Buddha. Correct. She died before the Buddha. No, That's I right. thought that means that she died after. Oh, no, no, no. Because she's older than the Buddha, you see. How much are older? Because she was the mother, ma. She was the foster mother. No, how much older? How much older? I'm not sure, leh. Uh, you can you find out for me? <laughs> maybe maybe you can ask your Dharma school teacher. I I I I I can't remember. Queen Maham, we know that Queen Dama. Maha Maya is younger, so Queen Maha Maya would be an example. Oh, but yeah, but Queen Maha Maya passed away quite early, seven days after the birth. Yeah, so for for Queen uh, for Queen uh, Mahapaja Pati Gotami, I'm not so sure. I'm not sure whether I have come across the figure before. If I have, I, I probably don't remember it now. Yeah, so maybe I have to find out for, 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 for you. Or maybe you can find out for me. <laughs> yeah, you can try to ask and see. Uh, because I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see. Okay, Kersin says, you know, I know the story. I think maybe that's, um, I'm not sure. Maybe King Bimisara or King uh, Ajatasatu. I'm not sure. Or maybe Angulimala. Yeah, anyway. It's okay. You, you, you can know the story. That's good. When was the first Buddhist temple built? Minlok asked. So the, the, the first monastery that was donated was the bang, Bamboo Grove. La. Bamboo Grove. Okay, Bamboo Grove. That one was donated by uh, King Bimisara okay, to, to the Buddha. So that was the first monastery. Yeah. After that was Anatta Pindika and, and all the other disciples as well. So I'm not sure which was the first Buddhist temple. Lah. I'm not exactly sure. But I believe it should be this bamboo grove, lah, this monastery that was donated by King Bimisara, given to the Sangha. Okay. Um, okay. During the time he taught Sariputta and Mogalana, he had 1,250 disciples. Yes, this was the teacher Sanjaya, right? In Lok. The amount of Buddha disciples that he had by the time that that he had fully by the time that that he that um Sariputra and Mongalana became our hearts. That's how oh. many our hearts. Oh, okay, okay. So it's not the disciples of teacher Sanjaya. Well, how many disciples? It's the disciples of the Buddha, is it? Not Sanjaya, is it? Yeah, 1250 disciples when during the time. Yeah. Okay, nice. Thank you, thank you. So this was Disciples of the Buddha. Okay, good. Thanks for the clarification. Not Sanjay. I was thinking of Sanjay. Okay, it was uh, Disciples of the Buddha. Good, thank you, thank you. Mbole. Do you know that there will be 10 known future Buddhas? I don't know. <laughs> I only know there's only one that I know. That yeah, I know, but after Buddha there Mithya. are the 29, 28 Buddhas listed, and then there will be future Buddhas, and then it shows 10 of the the oh, one I don't and know. then the first one will be Mateya. Mm, Mateya. Number one was the obvious what the Buddha, Gautama Buddha said, Mateya. Mm, mm, yeah, that one is Buddha Mateya, correct. The other nine, uh, I'm, I'm really not sure. I really don't know. So maybe, uh, yeah, I will need to research this. I actually don't know. 
Yeah, but thanks for raising this. Okay, I I I might I might need to look into it. But you're right, uh, Milot, the twenty eight one is true. Before the Buddha, yeah, the twenty eight, yeah, that one is true. That one we we have the we have the names of of these of those Buddhas. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Mm. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, Go Yuxian, Go Yuxian, I hope you have managed to log in. But if not, uh, <laughs> I hope tomorrow tomorrow morning you can call them lah. Call the call the organizer. The secretary, MBA, MBE secretary. Okay. All right. That's it. Okay. No more. No more. Then that's it. Lah. All right. Then I'll just discuss with brother Jiwa. All right. Good. Thank you so much, everyone. Suki so Hontu. Take care. May you be well. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Okay. Yeah. It's, yeah. A lot of, a lot of you are saying thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much for all of you. It's really my pleasure to be, to be discussing the Dharma with all of you. It's really my pleasure. Okay, so thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to share the Dharma. Yeah, all right. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Uh, yeah, the feedback form, Dharma ye liao. Facebook link, ye ke liao. Okay, then, uh, then that's good. Nice. Okay, so we can stop recording now, right? Uh, yeah.